Hey everybody, Adam Savage at Earl Hayes Press in Los Angeles with Michael Corey, who you might know as Props to History. How are you, sir? How you doing, buddy? So good. I We've been filming here all day. We're gonna <laughs> film here tomorrow. We filmed here a few weeks ago and a few weeks before that. But when we have done these videos, one of the ones that got a tremendous amount of traction was when Michael walked me through how Earl Hayes Press built the original Blade Runner Rick Deckard IDs. And we went through the entire process. Now, I don't know about you, but I got lots of emails from friends going, dude, can you hook me up? <laughs> it hasn't stopped. No, it hasn't stopped. Yeah. And this video is to explain to you that if you've been watching this wondering how you could obtain some of these things, this video will answer that question because Earl Hayes is able to put some of these on sale to the public. They absolutely are. Because we have access, well, because they created all of these original props. We have the original negatives, the original plates, everything yeah. to create this stuff. And they, we have, as all the searching has just unveiled all of this, they've decided to make it available to the public. We've got the Ecto-1 and the Back to the Future license plates. These were made here. Are they, back there. Back in that room. Endless boxes full of license plate blanks. It's totally crazy to be here. And you could, you could buy these. I wouldn't yeah. put them on your car but you can put them on your Ecto-1. You can, and all of the, the decals that are on, these stickers for the registration, they come from the original printings that they created in-house here Incredible. for the films. And it's it's the same with every product on here. These are, these are from Animal House. What? The, these are the beer labels created for Animal House. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. Right, the one that John Belushi crushes, crushes against on his, his head. head. Yeah, absolutely. But which is hilarious because cans were steel back then. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, it's the, you're not getting the can, no. you're just getting the label no, itself. No, amazing. Yeah. Smeet. Smeet. Um, we thought that was originally created for Waterworld, but it was actually created for a production before that. Okay. But then Waterworld said, we need all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and weirdly, the vast majority of the Smeet labels that are still here were made for Waterworld wow. because they made so many. But it's been seen in everything from The Walking Dead yeah. to Supernatural, etc. And it's just, it's a common joke in yeah. film to see Smeet. And it's like a, it's like, it's like a, a, it's a visual Wilhelm scream. No, it is absolutely. Actually, a, some, many of, many yeah. of the things in this yeah. building are visual Wilhelm screams. This whole screams. building is yeah. a Wilhelm yeah. scream when you get down to it. And Morley's is no different. Morley's you know. is no different. The cigarette smoking man. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, and again, I want to say to you, like, there are certainly people who've made files you can download and mm -hmm. assemble your own things. But there is a difference between laser printing or even inkjet printing and offset, offset. and the crispness yeah. that you get yeah. from this kind of thing. And, and the one thing that I've noticed that a lot of people that make replicas of these things is that they make them all the same color, no matter what. But Earl Hayes has been making them in different shades to indicate different eras. Oh. And there are different versions of Morley that go all the way back. The earliest that we've ever seen Morley you know, on screen. Depending on the time period. Depending on the time period, 1936. Wow. And the packs changed throughout that time period. And all of those different labels are for sale. And is that color change both in terms of a, 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 a cultural aesthetic, but potentially also the kind of inks that companies were using at the time? It's a mixed bag because in, in the early days of film, cigarettes, they were all filterless. Yeah. You know, and then as time progressed, Morley became that replacement for the brand that this is instantly recognizable yeah. as. Yeah. And that's what people know because of X Files. Right. Uh, yeah, but more. But they existed long before him. That we know of back to thirty six. Back so, to nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty six. Yeah. Just to remind you, Earl Hayes has been making props <laughs> for the film industry since almost before the film industry, like nineteen fifteen. Nineteen fifteen. Yeah. They were they were here before Hollywood was Hollywood. Oh my God. And they're right they're, before the Hollywood sign went up. Yeah. Before the Hollywood sign went up, and uh, back when back when it was a housing development in two streets, pretty so, much. So we have original. These are production made. Those are production Ghostbusters made covers. magazine covers. Yeah. Time and Life, Ghostbusters Two, Ooh, Ghostbusters this is One. one. All of these are are purchasable. Yeah, all of these are purchasable or are about to be purchasable. About to be purchasable. Um, We've got them. Oh, you, so, and when you buy it, you would be buying this. That. And then, if you wanted to, you could frame that, or you could, could put it, it over. Yeah. yeah, one of the original almanacs. If right. you happen to have that almanac. Uh, and but we they'll be sold just simply as uncut, so people can do whatever they want with them. Amazing. The newspaper, yeah, is not just the clock tower newspaper. Yeah, it's the the absolutely infamous recurring newspaper. Who you've seen this interior thousands of times. We believe 
10,000 productions this newspaper has been in. So someone's sitting there reading the paper in yep. the movies and you'll almost always recognize that it is these pages. Yeah, it's this person that people recognize <laughs> who's actually uh, a girlfriend of a former pressman that worked here and this guy, Earl Hayes himself. Amazing. That's Earl Hayes. This He's probably been on screen more than any other person besides her. And then, then of course, not only are they selling them as the clock tower, but also just as the blank right, right. newspaper. So that if you want the recurring newspaper, you can just buy the recurring newspaper. And none of this has ever been made available to the right. public right. at all. But we're in a very unpleasant time for Hollywood. And this is true. And a lot of shops like this are struggling. Am I correct? In, this is a flux capacitor blueprint right This here? is the flux capacitor blueprint. <sighs> the one that we're looking at here is an original. <gasps> Seen in, 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 in Back to the Future 1 and Back to the Future 3. The handwriting on it, oh my God, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And then my favorite part of this has always been, do not build. <laughs> do not build. But you, you see this in, in, in yeah. Back to the Future 1 and then you see it in Back to the Future 3. And all of this stuff was created in this building. Fabulous. There is, never before has a prop house that has created so many iconic pieces, made those iconic pieces available to the public in such a fashion. And speaking of iconic pieces, uh, can I just pay a serious compliment to you guys that this COA mm -hmm. uh, for, Deckard's, uh, for Deckard's ID, it's just, a, it's a beautiful object all yeah. in and of itself. Like this is a gorgeous and I, layout. It is absolutely beautiful the way it's it's put together and the, the, all the credit goes to the folks here at Earl Hayes. Amazing. And I have to point out that these are extremely limited because of the materials. Oh, we're there's using, only so much amberlith left in the world. And we're using original amberlith. None of this is fake. We're using right. the same type of card that they were based on. So much of it is very limited. So that's yeah. why once these are gone, they're gone. And also the plates they're made from only have so much life. And we can't risk those because they're part of film history. That's so funny. Um, after I bought my 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 personal hero set of Rounders chips, mm -hmm. they retired that specific chip mold. You oh, can't wow. get them in that chip mold anymore. Oh no. <laughs> this is an industry, this is a collecting hobby that oftentimes yeah. there is a discrete end to the availability yeah. of something. Um, and this isn't where the stuff for sale ends. No. This is an ongoing process. Yeah, as we discover more things here, most recently we discovered all of the original negatives for the ooh -la -la, uh, <laughs> from Back to the Future. And <laughs> yeah. if they're saveable, those will be printed again as well. And it, as it, it's impossible to get anything more original than this unless you buy the yeah. originals. And so. you can, uh, if you want to say his name three times, you can call this you guy. Just throw that in your wallet. And deal you, with being dead. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Michael, this is really thrilling. Um, I, I, of course, walk around here with hearts coming out of my eyes because <laughs> I want to touch everything in here. And now is your chance to be able to do uh, something similar. Uh, links to where to find this stuff is in the description. Yes. That's the, the main thing people yep. need to know. And uh, where should people go to find out about new things that are being released? Uh, it'll go to earlhayspress.com. Okay. And it's E-A-R-L-H-A-Y-S. Press.com. There's no e. There's no, no e. e. Yeah, there's no e. But it's earlhayspress.com, and you can actually find all of that in the link below. Or if you look on my social media, Props to History, the link is right there in the top because I love this place more than anything. And Amazing. I've spent two years working with them, and I absolutely adore it. So. Well, thanks for including us in your deep dive. This is really thrilling. No, I, I'm, I thank you for coming. Uh, it's, it's just absolutely wonderful to share this with somebody. Beetlejuice's business card. <laughs>